three. Hello, everyone. Happy Thursday. Today is August 5th, and back on this day in 1924, the comic strip Little Orphan Annie debuted. If you spend much time reading the comics in the newspaper, it's probably the best part, if we're honest, you may have run across Little Orphan Annie, or even if you hadn't seen the comic strip, you've probably at least heard about the musical Annie that was based on it. In the musical, maybe you know this, Annie sings the song and talks about the sun will come out tomorrow as she hopefully looks forward to brighter days ahead. Who would have dreamed that an orphan would become so popular? Actually, the neediest people in the world are orphans. Children with no parents to protect them, care for them, guide them. Some become orphans when their parents die in war or, or famine or other disasters, or some children are unfortunately left as orphans when their parents abandon them. Some countries have huge orphanages. This is why adoption is such a wonderful gift and an act of love. If you were adopted, you know firsthand. Many couples travel across the world to adopt children, giving them loving homes. The Bible actually says a lot about orphans and widows, with God telling his people to care for those very needy people that are among them. In today's verse, God's promising to rescue the orphans and widows in Judah. Jeremiah 49, 11 says, But I will protect the orphans who remain among you. Your widows, too, can depend on me for help. Today, Christian agencies such as Compassion Services International provide opportunities for almost anyone to help. By giving a small amount of money or, or things to donate, we can help sponsor children or families across the world. Besides individuals, often families and youth groups become sponsors. It's a way to show Jesus' love for the least of these, as he put it. That, you know, sometimes maybe we see children as, well, you know, they're their child, they don't really understand, there's all that there. And, you know, oftentimes I'm sure people have looked down on orphans and said, oh, this, this child doesn't even have a family. Jesus is looking out for the least, the people that we would maybe label as the least or the, of the lowest worth, which is, is terrible to think about, but Jesus made it clear. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how much we may value a person. Jesus values that person. And we can help those people know. We can help children, you know, orphans, widows, people that are hurting, anyone. It doesn't have to be an orphan or, or someone that has lost a loved one. There are people that are hurting all over, all around us, and if we will express Jesus' love to them, if we will show Jesus' love to them, he can make a difference. And we can help them know that the sun will come out tomorrow. That there is hope in the sun, Jesus himself. He can give them hope. He can bring them love. I hope that this sticks with you the rest of your day and that maybe you will find someone to show that love of Jesus to as you go through your day today. May God bless you. I hope you join us back here tomorrow as we wrap up the devotionals for the week. Take care.